Hi reception. So today we are going to make a story map which helps us remember all the information we have found out about our house. So first of all we need to do our title just like we would with a story map when we were remembering the Three Little Pigs story. So my title is going to be my so I'm going to write the word my, that's a very tricky word, my house. But instead of writing the word house, I'm just going to draw a quick, easy picture of a house. My house. So the first piece of information about my house was that it is a semi-detached house. So the first sentence is going to be my house house is semi-detached but we're going to write that using a combination of words and pictures so we've got my my house let's draw our little house picture again is and then semi-detached now i'm going to draw a little picture to show a semi-detached house. Remember a semi-detached house is one that is joined to one other house. So this one's mine on this side and then I'm joined to a house on the other side as well. Your picture here might look a little bit different because you might live in a detached house. You might live in a flat or you might live in a terrace. So it's up to you what you draw there depending on what kind of house you live in. Then I'm gonna put a full stop at the end there because I'm going to need to put a full stop there when I'm, we're writing our sentence tomorrow. My next sentence is, it has brick walls. So brick walls. I'm going to draw some bricks to remind me. It's my brick walls. And I'm just going to draw a square to remind me about the walls. Because that's roughly the shape of a wall, isn't it? Then another full stop, because I would need one there when I'm writing. My next sentence is, it has a slate roof and a chimney. So we're going to draw a slate roof. So if you look at your roof, it might be different. You might not have a slate roof. So you draw here what you've got, a slate roof. Then I'm going to draw a triangle to remind me about the roof. It has a slate roof and I'm just going to do a little plus sign there for and a bit like when we're in ma doing maths that sign means we're joining two bits together and means we're joining two parts of a sentence together so a slate roof and a chimney oh we know how to draw a chimney don't we from when we were drawing our three little pig story map So a slate roof and a chimney. You might not have a chimney on your house, but you might have a garage. So instead of that, you might write and a garage. It is up to you, depending on what your house looks like. And my last sentence is going to be, my house has two windows and one door. So I'm going to start with my house again. My house has two windows and one door. 
I'm going to put a full stop there because we'll need a full stop there when we're writing. I've also just spotted as well, I forgot to put a full stop at the end of that sentence. I should have been using my sentence checklist, shouldn't I? And remember when we write these sentences, we will need a capital letter at the beginning of each one of these. So that's my story map guys. And tomorrow I'm going to use this to help me write my sentences and then we'll be able to turn it into an information book. So tomorrow, Mrs. Coleman is gonna be making a little book and it might have drawings of my house in. It might have some photographs that I have taken of my house. Yeah, and we'll see you then guys. Bye.